Yo. Hold on. One second. Woo. That's better. Yo, yo, yo. J Tibbs back with another video. Today we're going to be breaking down some of the new formations, some new playbooks, some ideas maybe, some formations we want to see in Madden 21. Pretty much everything about the playbooks we're going to be discussing in today's video. However, before the video, hello, what's up? Pause it, get it in that nice 1080p quality. You already know the drill. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. So today we're going to be breaking down some new formations, some new playbooks, obviously some formations we want to see back in the game on offense and defense, and overall, what playbooks are going to give you the best chance of winning. All right, so you see right here, I'm on the Madden NFL 21 playbooks and AI gameplay updates, all the things you want to know about Madden NFL 21 playbooks, and okay, we, we get it, we get it, blah, 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 we get it. All right, so basically, a new feature that they introduced this year, halfway through the year, was NFL Live Playbooks. Uh, I think this was a pretty cool feature. It says we have introduced the NFL Live Playbooks feature post-launch in Madden 20. During the 2019 NFL season, we were able to update team playbooks with new content. In previous years, these updates would have to wait until next year, but NFL Live Playbooks allows for live updates all season long. It says much of the new playbook content got Madden fans excited, including the Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill. All right. EA, first of all, Tyreek probably said something about the game Madden, not the current state of Madden. So I don't know why y'all are trying to make him seem like he endorses this pile of crap. Anyways, I'm getting off topic, whatever. You know, they're talking about all the, uh, you know, playbook updates, that kind of stuff. How the Pats, who just got Cam Newton, are going to have a kind of interesting, I guess, intro quit type of playbook. And then the Bucks, I guess, are going to have a pretty cool Tom Brady system. So we're going to see how that works. Obviously, they say they're going to go with offensive playbook updates here. Now, the NFL Live playbooks will evolve and receive season-long updates, which will make a lot of changes to the default team playbooks for Madden NFL 21. So, I guess they're using this as an example. Uh, they're talking about how uh, Dallas plans to keep... Uh, keeping the previous offense in place so their playbook for launch won't, won't uh, look too much different but obviously once the season starts they'll make changes as they see different plays so they're giving us a couple few examples of new plays now pa boot i believe was in the game last year so was halfback zone week but you see pa boot corner post that's pretty cool you have like a weird whip route that looks pretty glitchy and then you have like a weird zigzag post that kind of thing and those if you guys don't know get booty butt naked open against any type of zones it hits that soft spot where it doesn't hit the deep zone it doesn't hit the shallow zones or mid reads it gets in that nice sweet spot where you can throw it obviously there are downfalls to this type of route for example it takes a lot longer to develop so if someone's blitzing you're not gonna have a chance to throw it which kind of sucks so that's an example again they're going to a gun trips halfback week playbook out of the box and they're showing us okay they have a, a new type of halfback out of the backfield route Kind of looks like, you know, the glitchy verticals route for Virch. You guys know what I'm talking about. But it looks like it cuts a little bit upfield. So that's pretty cool. They have a nice little cool out route here. Not much different. I mean, they had this play last year and the halfback draw last year as well. Now, I was looking at this. I think that's a pretty cool concept. And that's cool that it applies to the Lions. Because they do have, I believe, the multi-headed uh, uh, running back duo with uh, Johnson. And I can't remember who else. The dude out of Auburn. I can't remember his name. But uh, I think that's pretty cool. I think you could really develop a cool cover three beater there because this route would preoccupy that outside quarter. And if you had, like, I guess the shallow guy going on a post, I don't know, man. That's just me thinking on the fly right here. So I think these are pretty cool updates. They do mention a lot of these playbooks will be updated based on different players' personas coming to different teams. Like, example, you know, Cam Newton, the Patriots have probably never had a read option in their playbook in Madden over the past 20 years. So it's going to be unique and really, really cool to see how that adapts. Obviously, if you play with the Panthers last year, you saw their playbook had a lot of QB power runs, read options, triple options. I think that's pretty cool. They're going to adapt it to Cam Newton's play style. I think that's going to be a pretty cool playbook to use. And then obviously an example like the Bucks, you're going to see that they're more of a pocket style type passing team because Tom Brady is now the starting quarterback. So we're going to see how that plays out. I think that's going to be pretty neat. But to be honest with you guys, I just want to get to the defensive side of things. 
All right, so it looks like they went a little bit more in depth on the defensive side of things. Now, I personally, uh, I'll go over this uh, after, you know, we go over the new uh, formations. But there are some, uh, you know, formations I would like them to see, you know, obviously to bring back. I think it'd be pretty cool. But you see they have different types of formations. They're talking about how, you know, a team out of the 3-4 may not have 3-4 out in their playbook, but they're going to have a bunch of 3-4 formations. Same thing with the 4-3 normal. So they're talking about the base formations. 4-3 normal and 3-4 out are the base formations of those 3-4 and 4-3 defenses. So they're saying that if you're a 3-4 team, for example, uh, I'll use the uh, I'll use the Redskins as an example. They're a 3-4 team. If you're a 3-4 team, you are going to obviously not guaranteed. You're not guaranteed to have the normal formations, which are you know 3-4 odd, 3-4 under stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm hoping they add in some unique stuff so we can see some different looks. Now, as you see, there are some different defense formations, and you may recognize some of these. They added these to playbooks and live playbooks, fourth three even. Uh, I actually like that a lot because it's a uh, it's pretty much a uh, seven man front right here if you bring him in the uh, in the gap so you could really bring some heat and also you know play pretty well against the run with this as well if you know how to use it now overall uh, this was in the uh, game last year I believe a lot of these are two four five odds same thing this was used to stop the run for a while until they patched it sugar week I did not see I I could be wrong but I did not see I think that's pretty cool it's like a NASCAR like a, a nickel NASCAR look which is going to be a next point I do want to see that formation back in Madden that's a very good formation can you have another sugar three two I mean these are some formations I haven't seen okay four six cub they brought in you know halfway through the year same thing with the four three six one even and then the triple I think they did yeah they brought nickel triple in and then the dime rush I believe too this is basically just a dime formation with a linebacker on the line uh, so yeah, uh, I mean the new plays I guess I mean formations they had on defense I'm more excited to see those than offense because offense you're always going to find something especially with being able to use abilities to you know make any play your uh, type of play with hot route master. Uh, I think that it's going to be pretty neat and pretty cool. So yeah, uh, I think uh, like I said offense is you know all right but defense is where it gets creative because like I said if you can find that one hidden gem on defense that not many people are using you can abuse it for a couple months before it catches on obviously with me man if I find something I'm gonna tell y'all okay so the rest of the notes are basically just boring crap nothing nothing too exciting I mean you see you have some different routes and stuff out of this I mean you have I mean overall it's just updates so which brings me to my next point uh, I want to go over an offensive formation I want to see back in the game I want to go over a defensive formation now on offense I would like to see something uh, you know like single back formation because like uh, I've always been a single back guy but I think this would be pretty cool to bring back they used to have it in older Maddens and it's mainly in the uh, college football NCAA football games they have an empty under center which I think would be pretty cool cool because they had QB draw out of it they had really cool routes and to be honest I mean it lets you spread the field while also giving you that QB draw option so I think that was pretty cool and pretty neat now on the defensive side of things I would love to see that nickel NASCAR brought back the nickel sugar bluff whatever that blitz was out of that uh, out of that formation I think that'd be pretty neat and also I would love to see I'm not sure if they'll have this but I would love to see if they had like a 425, like a college look. That would be so cool if they incorporated that. Because, like, let's be honest, guys. We do not have a college football game. So, what should EA do? They should bring it back. Because, in all honesty, there are some teams that will run a variation of a 335 regular instead of a nickel 335, where they have mainly all linebackers on the field and those safeties in the box instead of those corners. So, I think that would be pretty neat. And obviously, the 425 is more like a compact and nickel over G. Uh, like I said, you can spread it out, you can compact it. I think that would be pretty neat if they brought it back. So those are my two. Let me know in the comments down below what formations you would like Madden to bring back. I mean, I don't know if they've ever been in the game before, if they used to be popular. Let me know. So overall, in conclusion, I mean, I'm just ready for Madden 21 to come out. Uh, I know you guys are going to you know, be looking forward to these tip videos and stuff. But mainly, I'm ready to just kick some butt, baby. Some butt. All right, I'm ready to kick some butt. Throne, Chaos, Civil, Mazomatic, anyone else I'm not listing, you're next. It doesn't matter though. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gonna win these games. I, I, I have a winning record versus Throne. Chaos and me have only played once for the two, but I lost. Alright? I lost. And that was when I was at preview pre Essent. I think that's how you No, that's definitely how you say it. Preview Essent. Yeah. That's when I was young, man. That's when my balls weren't even touching the ground. Civil, Civil already knows the record. I don't have to say it. And then Maze, man. Maze will tell you, me and him, we went to a tournament. This was like a dream cast or dream hack, whatever the hell it's called. But anyway, those are the games, man, I'm really looking forward to. I know I probably just spoiled some of it, but 
Those are the trash talk games we're going to be getting in. Those are going to be fun as hell. That about wraps it up, guys. If you enjoyed the video, as always, make sure to smack a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what video you would like to see next. Also, comment down below. I'm curious. All right, guys, I'm signing off. And as always, peace.